All right, guys. Uh, welcome. This is where we're going to get started. Uh, once you've clicked the link um, that is on Google Classroom, um, you should come to this spot. The reason I'm doing a video today is because there are many instructions and I don't want anybody to get left behind. So this is an opportunity for you to pause the video, um, get to where you need to be, and then continue to play the video. So once again, this is where you should be. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and we don't have an account yet. So what we're going to do is join now. So everybody's going to click join now. It's going to ask you some basic information to create your account. So I'm going to put my information in here. Um, your first name, last name, school, uh, school email, or um, an email that you can access on this computer. Um, Gmail sometimes doesn't work. Um, but I'm going to use it because I can get it off of my computer. Um, so go ahead and type in your email. It's going to ask you to confirm it. It's going to ask the zip code. doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put 80525. And then you're going to make a password of some sort. Um, and I would definitely uh, remember that uh, password, write it down somewhere, or you can also um, you can also save it onto your computer. So then you're going to press find your calling. It's going to say we just sent an email. This is where you can save it if you want to. Um, I am not going to save it just because I know my password. Um, but you can press save and it'll, when you come back to the site, it'll automatically save your password and username. So right here it is asking confirm your email. So we just sent an email to lchiever plus one at gmail. So I am going to go to my gmail account and it says to please open that email and click on the button to activate your account. You should, if you're using a school email, it might be in your clutter. You may need to go to your clutter box. It's going to say a no reply pathway you. Um, heading you're going to click on that and then it says uh, to activate your account please confirm your email using the button below within 24 hours so I'm going to confirm my email once it's set once you've done that it'll say email confirmed you're going to press log in and it's going to bring you to the home page of my journey which is where we're going to start here um, so what you're going to do is this is an opportunity for you to start discovering um, a little bit more about yourself um, and specifically how it relates to our careers and career exploration. So first you have self-discovery. It says let's get started. Everyone starts at different points, but we will all want a purposeful life. Let's walk together down your path toward joy, meaning, and purpose. Um, the second part is self-discovery as well, but it says discover more about yourself. You can start to uncover your path toward joy, meaning, and purpose after learning more about what makes you unique. Take the Pathway U assessments to start getting a better understanding of yourself. There are going to be four different assessments, and there are about 10 to 15 questions is all. Um, what I would like is, and my hope is that you would spend about 30 minutes per assessment. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to click Start Assessments. And it says, take the first step in the journey towards finding joy, meaning, and purpose. You're going to press start your journey. And the first uh, first assessment is this interest assessment. So you'll press start. And how it's going to work is it's going to re ask questions related to different types of careers. You can see here that the continuum right here shows strongly dislike, dislike, unsure, like, and strongly like. So if you're looking at this and it's asking you as part of a job, I would like to um, build kitchen cabinets. For me, um, I would I would like that. I wouldn't strongly like it. I'm going to put like. Um, develop a new medicine. I'm not about that. I'm going to put dislike. Um, write books or plays. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check unsure. I'm unsure if I would really like that or not. The more unsures you have, the more your results are going to be kind of um, not as accurate. So try to use dislike or like or strongly like or strongly dislike and stay away from the unsure button if you can.
Once you've completed the first assessment, you are going to have a screen that looks like this. Um, what I would like for you to do is just take um, three to five minutes and kind of go over what your assessment results look like. Um, it's going to give you different um, primary interests. So um, after taking it, um, it's going to show you which ones pop up more often than others and it's going to give you a good idea of some of the interests that you really are interested in the career field. Um, you can scroll down and just spend three to five minutes reading through your results. We're going to come back to this um, after we're done with all of our assessments. You do not need to do the reflection questions right now or anything over on this side of the page here. So um, go ahead and just um, ignore this stuff on the right side here. Like I said, there's four assessments, so you just got done with the first one. Um, after that, you're going to come up here and you're going to click on Take Next Assessment. Um, this assessment is going to be um, about your values. So um, it's important to understand the different values that you have in your life and how they correlate to careers and how they can really help you, um, you know, be in a good fit for a different career based on values. So. Um, it says right here there are no right or wrong answers. It is about what you would consider the least and important to you in your dream job. So you're going to press start assessment. This is a little different template. Um, it's saying for your dream job which four are the least important to you. And so you're going to read through these and you're going to identify which ones are least important to you. Um, so go ahead and go work through your values assessment. After you're finished with the first um, first set of questions, now it's asking you which four are the most important to you. So you're going to click the four that are most important to you. All right, we've finished up the values assessment. You're again going to spend three to five minutes reading through your results here. Just get a better understanding of kind of what your values are and how they correlate and relate to your possible career. As soon as you're done with that, you're going to work through the next two assessments by doing the same um, task, which is saying take next assessment. This one is going to be more about your personality. Um, so it says try not to think about how you wish you were. Concentrate on who you are today. So answer these questions as honestly as you can so that you can get the best results for yourself um, to help you. So I'm going to click Start Assessment, and again, it goes back to this template, um, and you're going to work through these, um, and you're going to work through your next assessment, which is Workplace Environment. As soon as you're finished with that, then you're going to follow the next set of directions that are on this video. Once you're finished with all of your assessments, it's now going to put you back in this My Journey um, screen. Um, what I'm going to have you do here is now, if you've taken all the assessments, it's going to say view my results right here where you started. You're going to press view my results, and it's going to take you back to a summary of all the different results that you have. You can click on each assessment here to go back to see um, if you're needing to go back to see any information in those. But for your assignment today, all you're simply going to do is you're going to press download this big download button and what you're going to do is that is going to bring a downloadable um, document here it's a PDF um, and this is what you're going to be turning into me so what you're going to do is you're going to go file save as um, and what I would like for you to do is just um, choose a different folder down here and you're going to go and you're going to put this on your desktop so it's nice and easy to find. Um, right here, I'm going to change the file name to Luke Cheever Pathway U Results. Then I'm going to save it. I can now close out of this screen. So I'm going to close that. And what I'd like you to do now is go back to your Google Classroom assignment. Um, and within the assignment, you are going to attach that um, that document, that PDF. 
So I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. In order to attach your assignment and get the 50 points for today, um, what I'm going to have you do is um, look at the second video that's called Attaching PDF to Google Classroom. That will be attached to your assignment in Google Classroom and I will show you how to do that.